I just want to do a quick uh, video on a teardown of this Sennheiser MKE 200, a teardown and a fix. I bought this on Amazon as uh, in used, like new condition. Uh, of course, it ended up being an Amazon used classic where, uh, you know, the box was actually in perfect uh, condition. It even had a, a seal still like uh, intact. And when I opened it up, I saw the microphone was in the plastic. It looked a little dirty on first glance, which worried me, but everything else, I mean, the the uh, manual still in its uh, in its wrapper even like the cables were in their uh, original sleeves so it looked good unfortunately the microphone had a, a few dings and scratches on it you can see where the paint's been worn away and it sort of had a dusty look but uh, but I figured you know whatever let's try it out and I plugged it into my MacBook uh, using the uh, TRS TRRS cable and I got nothing. It's like, oh crap. Uh, and then I used um, a TRS to USB-C cable I ordered and uh, and oh, also got nothing. And so I tried the um, TRS to TRS cable on my uh, Fuji X-T2 and I also got nothing. So turns out this thing is dead. It does not work. Of course, there's no guides online of how to tear this down. Sennheiser doesn't provide a manual on how to uh, to take it apart. So you can pay uh, Sennheiser if you're out of the two-year warranty to fix this. Um, if you're in the two-year warranty uh, period, they'll take it and fix it for free. But it still sucks because you're shipping something. And if I ship it back to Amazon, which I actually I might do because it's uh, you'll see in a second when I open it up. But uh, they didn't. It's not really like new. Anyways, let's get into the teardown and uh, fixing this microphone. I've forgotten how to talk. So, okay, let me, oh shit. So let me um, tell you what you need. First, you need the mic, obviously. It doesn't hurt to have a cable to test. You don't need this guy. You need uh, two torque head screw drivers or screw bits. And what is it? Okay, I don't know if that helps. Anyways, you need two torque head screw drivers or um, screw heads. The first torque head screw is uh, located under the uh, the hot shoe, cold shoe, whatever. Just screws out. Now this pops off. The next two are side by side. I'll need the uh, smaller uh, screw head for this. Oh, I forgot to add, you'll also need a multimeter. Okay. And once these two screws are out, uh, this cover actually just pops off. Just be gentle because there are um, the uh, speaker, or sorry, the microphone cables running from the microphone itself. This is where you're gonna wanna do your first test. Let me zoom in. So you see there's, um, there's two wires here. There's one for ground black and one for hot red. It doesn't really matter. Let's just, you know, rule out um, for troubleshooting this, let's rule out an issue with the with the connector. It doesn't matter if this is the TRRS or the TRS um, connector, it, it, it'll work the same. I'm gonna take my multimeter, I'm gonna turn it to the tester mode, and so this is just gonna beep if um, if there's a short, if, the, if I'm touching two parts that, of the uh, circuit that connect to each other, so just to test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, one probe on the, let's test the red, the hot wire first. So I'll do a, one probe on the red and I'm just gonna check my cable. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And here it's just uh, on the first ring. So my multimeter kind of sucks and this is awkward to do on video but that's good. Okay, that means we have a connection, so there's nothing wrong with this for the hot wire. Now let's check the uh, ground or negative. Gee, I guess it's not ground positive and uh, negative, but okay, now on the second ring, I have uh, a connection, so that's good. That's all I wanted to check. You can see that there's nothing wrong with this chunk of, let me zoom out this chunk of the system. We know that like this is working. Um, so that leaves us with this part of the system. Let me uh, 
Plug this guy. And now you'll need the bigger, uh, the bigger Torx head screwdriver. I, think I had too much coffee this morning. Now, when I first took this apart, because I've done this before, this was like a little tricky to get off. Not really, really tricky, but just um, you have this plastic bit that's clipped into the blimp itself. And it doesn't want to like just pull out on the first uh, on first blush. So what I would do is it, you can you can see that it slides a bit. So I would just slide it forward like this because there's little clips. You have more visibility of when you slide it forward, and I think it catches less on the body. And so to open this, I just use this plastic uh, prior thing, but you you can use like anything that kind of just wedges underneath. And I just had to do it on both sides like that, and it will just pop pop out of the blimp itself. And just be careful because this is the, the actual uh, microphone. The blimp body, this I think is just aluminum. So you can wash this out. I actually, this was, believe it or not, I already washed this and it was even dustier. So, uh, and you can see how dusty it was. If you take a look at the microphone itself, let me try and stabilize. So that's all dust. I mean, I wiped off a bit just to see, oh, it is dust to confirm it. So whoever used this thing, probably just like bought it, took it out. They didn't use the cables or anything, so they used their own cables. They abused the shit out of this. They must have taken it on a bike ride or something, uh, or to the desert, I don't know. Somewhere really, really dusty. Got a ton of abuse, and then they put it back in the box and returned it to Amazon. As you can see, the problem very clearly is that the negative or ground or whatever wire has is no longer connected to the microphone so that's why i was getting no signal and that makes sense so in this case I'm just going to solder that back I cannot keep this in frame is this yeah i don't have a the right gauge for this if i just take off oh shit. you know this would have been a lot easier to do not as a youtube video and just as a uh just do it. And my gross nails, sorry guys. Next time I will not make a YouTube video and I will also cut my nails. Okay, that was uh, redneck engineering, but it worked. I think you can see that. There's like a tiny, tiny bit of a wire out. And I might actually just try and uh, remelt this. I'm just gonna hold, this is like really dumb actually what I'm doing. This is awful. Okay, maybe I'm gonna do this a different way. Oh. I'm gonna put a little bit here. This is like the worst soldering. Oops. See how fucked up that is? Did I short them? Nope. Like, that's awful. That's probably gonna break soon. But, uh, but fuck it. You know what? Let's see. How bad is that feeling? Leaning, leaning, leaning. I don't know. Like, uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that. And if it breaks again, I know what the issue was. So, let's put it back together. First up, blimp. these little guys and you know what I should have done is use literally this thing that I have sitting here the multi hands or whatever the hell they're called helping hand but I'm an idiot so I decided just to do it the shitty way and like why am I making this video I just you know if your mic's not working and you're out of the warranty pop it open see what happened you know, maybe you can fix it. Um, maybe you can. I'm actually, I'm speaking way too soon. Because the uh, moment of truth has yet to come. Okay, let's, uh, let's hook it up to the computer and see if it works. If it does work, you're gonna hear me in a second speaking on this microphone. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you'll hear me as I sound currently. Okay, and look at that, that's the external microphone. That is the Sennheiser MK200, and it's working because I'm amazing 
at uh oh shit actually I need something to show on this um maybe I'll put some pictures of uh I don't know cats or something anyways yeah it works so I'm certified redneck genius baby I knew I could solder uh, let's shake it around a bit ah oh, that's awesome okay cool so there you go let me uh, take this off now and go back to the good audio. Okay, so there you go. That is a teardown and fix of the Sennheiser MKE 200. Get the box shot as well. Get out of here. Um, yeah, so if you're having issues with this thing, stop working. If you know you want to clean it out, I don't know if you're running it in a in the desert or something. Because I'm actually like I'm shocked at how much dust. I don't know how this was used, right? I'm just uh, I'm just making some assumptions, but I mean you can see even now after this is after I washed it, right? And I washed it under the sink, the the blimp bit, because why not? And it's still dusty, and the that thing inside was coated with dust. So I mean this must have been used heavily, but if it wasn't, I mean they obviously they got a um, they returned it within the return window. So unless they spent like 30 days in the desert, I would, uh, I mean, maybe it's a good idea to, to tear yours open and uh, check the state of the contacts and, and clean it out. Because you know, if you're going on a trip or something uh, and your, your contact is hanging on by a thread, it might be a good idea to just verify that it'll last. Anyways, hope someone finds that useful. Uh, cheers.